Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video, I will tell you how to create a range and use them in Excel to save lots of time and do wonderful things. All right. So we know all, we all know what is a range, right? That a collection of cells is called a range, but now you can actually use a complete range in formulas or for references like for example I'm using this max formula to find out what is which one is the biggest number over here what is the greatest value over here so how am I going to do that is equal to max max alright then I would select this range and this is 98 right so this is the highest number over here however there is another way to do that and which is is equal to max max and now what I've done is I've actually named this range and it is available here in the formula section use in formula and this is the range I've called it new name new range and I close the bracket and you'll see this is the new range that I'm talking about I had rename I have named this section as new range see if I select it the range the name of the range gets displayed over here and here the biggest value is 978 same way we can do a sum formula sum and then we can actually type the name of the range we have new and you'll see that this range name shows up over here with a dog tag and we get the sum isn't it wonderful now let me tell you how we can name this range so to name a range we simply have to select it go to name manager all right and define a new name for it just see that there are no special characters or there is no space in between the name all right now let's call it test range underscore range and this is the area it refers to and click on OK later on you can edit a range say for example if you want to edit it you can go over here you can change the name you can change the area you can also delete a range from here all right and now we can use this range in this formula is equal to say average and then say test a range and test range over here we double click it to select it and here we are same way we can use it in VLOOKUP also so for example I want to find out the value of E in March so which, which this would be column number four one two three four right so value of E in March would be is equal to VLOOKUP what do we look up this thing E comma table array now this is where the range comes in so the name is test range we simply select it comma column index number would be 4 comma 0 bracket close and you have 52 <laughs> isn't it cool it is yes so I hope you like this video you can actually go to mylesson.org to download this video and to download the training file shown in this video and see and watch way other way many more videos from there so until then this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning